Hey guys, what's up? So this video is brought to you by the one and only Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. If you guys are interested in going to a coding bootcamp, uh, that's one of the best ones you can choose. So if you're interested in learning some of the latest technologies to try to get your foot into the door, into the industry, check out Dev Mountain. The link is in the description tab and uh, you'll find out more information there. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm talking about whether or not Java is worth learning in 2018. And the answer to that is uh, quite simply yes. I mean, if you look at the TLB index um, right now at the date of this video, which um, you can see Java is actually the most popular language um, by far compared to other languages like even like Python and C Sharp. So Java is actually estimated to be installed on 3 billion different devices and, and like devices ranging from all kinds of different things from like point of sale systems, like when you go to the grocery store or whatever, uh, to like ATM machines are, are running Java. Java also has something called the Java Virtual Machine, or JVM for short, and it's given way to languages like Kotlin and Scala. They run on Java's bytecode. That's what the JVM is. So everybody's talking about Kotlin. I mean, it's running on Java's Virtual Machine, on Java code. Now, one of the downsides, if you would even call it a downside, is that Java is not the, the most like hip language right now. Like, and not, nobody's really talking about it. You know, it's, it's, everybody's talking about Node or some JavaScript framework or something along those lines. But you know, even Kotlin, but they're not talking about Java. So Java's not as popular, I don't think, like uh, among the young crowd. And I think that could be concerning for the future. You can see on Indeed.com, like currently in the United States, there's 70,504 open Java listings right now, at least using the Java keyword. So if I said Java programmer, I'm going to get less results, obviously. But like uh, Java, Java, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's probably a couple jobs in there where they're like, hey, cook up some Java <laughs> or, uh, or brew some Java. <laughs> but uh, besides that, like this is mostly Java jobs, programming jobs in the United States. This is probably a more accurate chart. Um, this is from Indeed.com as well, but you can see like last year Java did decrease jobs by about 6,000, um, but it still leads to pack. I think the most surprising thing on this chart is that Perl is still like really in demand down there uh, at the bottom. As much as people like hype up PHP and shit, like look at Perl down there, um, right there hanging in there. So that that's pretty awesome. And then um, as far as Python, that's even crazier. It's like Python's leading C Sharp and jobs. I still find that hard to believe because there's more than 27,000 C Sharp listings. Um, if you put in .NET, you're going to get like about like you know 60,000 listings or something like that. So that C Sharp number can't be accurate. Uh, it can't speak for all of the .NET framework. So clearly Java is worth learning in 2018 and um, 2019 and, and beyond. If you guys have Java jobs in your area, I would definitely recommend it. Um, and don't believe the hype. Like if you if you don't hear it, like uh, you know with buzzwords like like Kotlin or, or React or any of those um, other frameworks that are out there that, are, uh, that, that just seem to be more hyped up than, than an old language like Java. But the best place to go to learn is the actual official specifications. Um, that's actually where I always recommend, like even with Python and everything. If you truly want to nerd out on it, um, you know, go to the official documentation, which is right here. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description tab. And then also, this is a good beginner level tutorial. So if you just want to get started with it, I recommend this. I don't have anything on Java, so I'm not even going to recommend my own stuff. But um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.